All right, guys, welcome in. Thanks for joining us today uh, for another edition of F45 Live. Today's workout is going to be Panther. So uh, the way it's going to work, we have 14 stations. All right, you're going to do three sets in a row at your station, 35 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. After those three sets, you are done with that station. Then we'll move on to the second, third, all the way through till we get through all 14 stations today. All right, uh, so the first thing we got today is an alternating reverse lunge. Grab a backpack, grab a weight, uh, dumbbells if you got them. All right, take a big step back, keeping that chest nice and tall. All right, and then that back knee comes almost to the ground and then we drive up through that front quad. Next, we're going into a book bag. Uh, good morning. This time, staggered stance here. So you're gonna have a slight stagger with those feet. You're gonna switch it out each time. So that back toe is gonna be right in line with that front heel. Hinge at the hips, come down, feel that stretch to those hamstrings, and then return back to that starting position. All right, station three, we have a book bag bent over row here. So you're gonna grab those handles, put your elbows up and back into that rib cage. All right, squeeze at the top, then lower back down to that starting position. All right, from there, we have a squat pulse. We're just staying nice and low. You can do this with or without weight. All right, keep that chest up nice and tall. Shoulder blades are retracted. Core is tight, and we're just pulsing it out. We want about four to six inches up and down on that pulse, staying low as you can. All right, from there, we have an RDL with a four to one tempo, meaning on the way down, we're going four counts. So from that starting position, you're gonna push those hips straight back, feeling a stretch to the hamstrings on the way down, all the way down for four, and then we're returning back to that starting position, driving hips forward and squeezing the glutes for one. From there, we have a dumbbell sumo squat to a bicep curl. You can use whichever equipment you have. You can use the book back here as well, but we're gonna squat it down. Uh, remember, we're staying in the bottom of that squat and then going into that curl before standing all the way up, so we're keeping those muscles under tension. From there, station seven, we have a bridge press. So we're bridged up, our hips are up, our shoulder blades are back, our head is relaxed on the ground. Those glutes are staying engaged, elbows in nice and tight. We're pressing up to the top, nice squeeze, and then we're lower back down. Keep those hips up the whole working time. From there, we have a plank diagonal reach. So we're in that low plank position. You're gonna reach your opposite arm, opposite leg out diagonally, then return back to that starting position before switching out to that other side. All right, from there, we have a feet elevated hip thrust. So you're gonna grab something to lift your hips up on, or your heels up onto. You're gonna drive those hips up, squeeze for at least one 1,000 at the top, lower back down to those hips, tap the ground, and then go into that next rep. From there, we have a thumb up, thumb down, 45 degree range uh, raise. So we're not straight up out front, we're not straight up to the side, but we're alternating between raising with the thumb coming up and then coming back down, raising with the pinky coming up from there we have a object swing so coach michelle is going to show you how to swing with the book back here but we're again we're hinging at the hips this is not a squat and then we're driving the hips back squeezing the glutes forward to return back to that starting position we want to swing that object up to about chest height here all right from there we're going leg raises so legs out straight out in front of you you're going to lift all right all the way up until those feet are raised uh, almost to the ceiling. All right, so you're gonna pulse up at the top if for a progression if you want more of a challenge. From there, curtsy line. So we're taking a big step out and back. All right, so you're gonna come out to about 45 degrees, chest stays tall. All right, for that curtsy, you're gonna hit, be hitting a little bit of that, uh, that side booty here. All right, and then last but not least, we got a Spider-Man push-up. So you're gonna drive your same elbow up to, or your same knee up to your same elbow as you lower down. And then as you press back up, that leg comes back down to that starting position. All right, you can separate these two movements. Give me the push-up and then give me that knee to elbow. You can also come to the knees if needed. All right, guys, go ahead and grab a towel, grab some water, and let's get ready for that warm-up. Starting off, we have those high knee butt kicks, all right? So you're going to drive those knees up one, two, three, four times, and going right into those butt kicks. All right, from there, we have hip mobility swings. Take those hips all the way around. All right, hands on the hips as you swing it, loosen up those hips. All right. All right, from there, we have a squat with a rotation on each side. Make sure we're sitting low into those hips. As you come up, you're gonna rotate towards each side here. Nice work right there, guys. Going right into side to side groin stretch. So make sure those palms are planted on the ground as you take it over from side to side. Make sure those groins. 
to push those hips back, feeling that stretch through that inner part of your legs. You're going right into 10 mountain climbers and three push-ups. Keep those shoulders stacked over your wrist. All right, we're driving the knees up 10 times before going right into three push-ups. Nice work, guys. We're going to go ahead and roll it over onto our back. All right, take those legs over side to side, feeling that stretch through that lumbar spine. Yeah, keep your shoulders planted on the ground here. You're going right into those hip thrusters. Stay on the back here as we go with those hips up. Squeeze that booty at the top. Good. Got a lot of hamstrings and butt program today for you guys. All right, so we're rolling it out. Take those knees in. As you come to the top, you're going to split those legs out. Take that stretch right down the middle. So we're loosening up that lower back, loosen up those hamstrings. And then we're going to go ahead and pop it up onto the feet. We're going to start, go ahead and get that heart rate up a little bit more here. Quick feet in, in, out, out. Nice work, guys. Coach Michelle saying nice and light. Tapping those feet, tapping those feet in, tapping those feet out. Before going right into jump squats. Keep that chest up nice and tall. Reach for the ceiling. Grab some ceiling. Bring it back down with you. Michelle showing off her white girl hops a little bit right here. Yeah. There we go, guys. All right, this is where we're really starting to get our body warm. Last three seconds here before we start that workout. All right, guys. Nice work right there. Remember, we're starting off with those reverse lunges. All right, you can grab dumbbells if you have them. You can grab your backpack. All right, anything to add a little extra weight here. All right, we're taking that big step back, alternating uh, legs each time here. All right, set number one. Let's get it going. Coach Michelle is taking that big step back. Chest is tall. Notice how her shoulder blades are retracted. Those weights aren't swinging. They're staying right by her hips. All right, as she goes back into that reverse lunge. Good core strength here. All right, to focus on that balance and stability. Remember, as we come back to that starting position, we're driving through that front leg, that front quad. All right, really squeezing, feeling that muscle engagement. We got five seconds left here. Good. Two one and rest nice work guys on that first set go ahead and drop those dumbbells weights whatever you're using Let's add a little resistance here about 20 seconds and then we're going right into that next set remember three sets in a row at the same station then you are done with that station for the entirety of the workout all right set number two let's get it going good working those lunges back knee comes almost to the ground all right don't let it tap. Keep that core tight. Good, guys. You want to keep a steady pace here. Bigger step back for more booty and a smaller step if we want to hit more quad here. Nice work, guys. Finish strong. Five seconds here for two, one, and rest. Nice work, guys. That is two down. All right, we got one more set here. Oh, right. okay. All right, guys, getting ready for that third and final set at this station. Let's get it. All right. We got Dez here working it. There we go, big step back. Nice work right there, Dez. Good. Chest is tall. Shoulders are back. Core is tight. Nice work right there. We've got about 15 seconds until moving on to that next exercise. So Roth in the building. There we go. She's getting that full depth all the way down. For three, two, one, and rest. Nice job, guys. You are done with that first exercise. We are going right into those staggered good mornings all right so remember it's just a small stagger here it's not a big step back all right remember those back toes should be in line with your front heel all right moving at the hips all right pushing feeling that stretch through the hamstrings on the way down and then we're going to flip flop those feet and then do the same thing on that other side guys nice work right there remember this is about control all right Really feel that muscle engagement, feel that hamstring stretching, and then squeeze that booty forward 
all the way until you're back to that standing position. Good. Three, two, one. Go ahead and rest it. Nice job right there, guys. So you can do this from either a front loaded, meaning you have the weight in the front, or you can do this from a back loaded position if you just want to keep your backpack on your back um, for that good morning. All right. We got three seconds. So we're going into that second set here. Let's go. Yo, guys, we want to keep those shoulders back. That's going to keep our spine nice and neutral. We don't want to let our shoulders round forward. All right, it's going to put our spine in an unnatural, unsafe position. We're going to keep that core tight to keep that tension in the hamstrings. All right, nice work right there. 10 seconds here. Good, guys. Slow and steady all the way through. Four, three. Two, one, and rest. Nice job, guys. That is uh, two sets down here. We're moving on to that third and final set. Okay, guys, remember, we want to feel that stretch through the hamstrings on the way down, all right? If you're feeling it into your lower back, take some range of motion out. Don't go quite as far down. Nice work right there, Lily. Got that front loaded dumbbell. Good, nice, slow and steady on the way down. Good, Coach Ashley in the building. She's using a sandbag here. Doggy is checking on her form. Nice work right there. We got five seconds for three, two, one, and rest. Nice job, guys. That is two stations down. We're moving on to that bent over row here. So you can do this. Uh, with a book bag, you can do this with your dumbbells if you have them. Um, just make sure that we're staying with that nice flat back. We're feeling some ad uh, active tension in those hamstrings as we're in that static position. You pull, pull those elbows up and back into that rib cage. Nice squeeze at the top. Really working on those back muscles here. All right, guys. So we're. Moving on to that bent over row. So elbows in. There we go, right there, guys. Yep. Good, last five. Good, finish strong with these last couple reps in two. One, nice job right there, Lindsay. I see you, girl. Oh, that's me. All right, guys. Remember, if you're feeling that in your lower back, come up, take a small break, and then get back down into that good, strong position. Set number two, let's go. Good, Coach Michelle here showing how to keep those elbows in nice and tight to the rib cage as we go in for that row. Good, we wanna keep that core nice and tight. Squeeze that booty. All right, that's gonna keep that tension in the hamstrings, like I said earlier. We do not want to feel that in our lower back. Good, guys. 10 seconds. Make these last five count. All right, this is where it counts. For three, two, one, and rest. Nice work, guys. That's two down here. We got that third and final set of the bent over roads coming up here in 10 seconds. Good, guys. All right. Third set, let's go. 35 seconds left here. Really feel that squeeze at the top. All right, so we want to hold, count to one. All right, really feel that engagement of our muscles, mind-muscle connection. Good, guys. Think about taking your elbows back into that rib cage. All right, relax your shoulders away from your ears. And we have 10 seconds left here before moving on to that next exercise. Go ahead, make these last few count. For three, two, one, and rest. Nice work, guys. We got three exercises down. We're going right into that squat pulse. 
But remember, stay as low as you can for as long as you can. We want to keep quality reps here, all right? So if you're starting to lose it, stand back up, take a small break, and then get back down into that good, strong position. Remember, we want to keep that chest up sh and shoulders back. If you're starting to fall forward, um, come up and reset and then get back down. All right. Coach Ashley is not satisfied with body weight. She's going to add that sandbag head for a little more of a challenge. Coach Ashley is killing it. All right, guys. Five seconds. Nice job, nice job, nice job, nice job. And rest. Nice job, guys. Woo! Shake those quads out. I know they're burning. One of my faves here. Is it just me? Is it just me? Is this so, so good? I shouldn't have to. All right, guys. Set number two of those squat pulses coming up. Is it just me? Yeah. All right, so we want slow and steady pulses here. Think about four to six inches up and down. Nice job right there, ladies and Sydney. Way to stay low. So keep those knees out in line with those toes. Great job right there. We got Coach Roth. She's, she's going to use a dumbbell here. A little extra challenge as well. The queen of pain herself. Five seconds. There we go, stay low, stay low, stay low, stay low, and rest. Nice job, guys. That is two sets down. We've got that third and final squat pulse set coming up. 35 seconds. Can you hold it the whole time? Let's see it, German. All right, guys. Get ready to get low when the whistle blow. Nice job, all right. 35 seconds. Keep that core tight, shoulders are back. Good. Push yourself a little bit farther. When you feel that initial urge to stop, push yourself for three more seconds, three or four more seconds. Stay in it. Good, quality form, keep those knees in line. Nice job right there, Don. Way to stay low, adding the progression as well. Keep going. All right, guys, five seconds, you got it. Hang in there. Let's go for three, two, one. Nice. Good, guys. Way to stay in it. Way to fight through it. I know those legs are on fire. We're going into that RDL four to one tempo here. So that means four seconds on the way down. Find that bottom. All right. And then we're standing it up back up one second to the top. Three, four. And drive those hips forward. Squeeze those glutes. Keep those shoulder blades retracted. Keep that core tight. All right. Lock those lats in. Good. Again, anytime we're hinging, we want to keep that tension in our hamstrings and glutes. If we're starting to feel it in our lower back, that is not a good thing. So we want to keep that core tight, keep those glutes locked in. All right, it's going to take that pressure out of your lower back. For two, for one, and rest. Nice job, guys. Set one of those four to one tempo RDLs or down. So, Mara, I want you guys to emphasize that four count. So, one 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000, four 1,000, all right? The longer it takes, the longer we resist gravity, the more our muscles have to fire and work. All right, guys. Jessica. She's got what looks like to be a bottle of some type of cleaner here. Works just the same though. Good, really feel that stretch on the way down. 10 seconds here. Good guys, keep working. All the way through for three, for two, one, and rest. So we're staying here. We got one more set here, All right? With those RDLs. We're moving on to that sumo squat with a bicep curl next. All right, guys, we're on in two. We're on in one. Let's get it. Nice job, Coach German, right there. She's got uh, she's doing a great job of keeping that back nice and flat. So as flat as your back is when you're standing up, that's how flat your back should be at the bottom of that hinge. 
All right, parallel to the ground. Drive those hips forward. Squeeze those glutes to return back to that starting position. We got 10 seconds here. All right, make these last few seconds count. Get the most out of each working set. We're on for three, for two, one, and rest. Nice job, guys. All right, keep those weights. All right, we're gonna keep it for that uh, sumo squat to bicep curl. All right, chest stays up, hips sink back. All right, at the bottom of that squat, we're curling as we stay in that squat before we stand it back up. Good, right there. Nice job staying low. Good, hips are back. Squeezing that booty. Good guys, keeping those palms facing the ceiling. Really squeeze those biceps. Come up when you need a break, then come back down. Get that good static hold. Last five seconds here. Let's go pump those guns, buns, and guns. Two and ones. Nice job, drop those weights. Woo! A lot of legs in today's workout. A lot of legs, a lot of booty. Running five. Let's get a set number two. Grab those weights. Get down into that good strong position. All right. All right, guys. You guys are working right now. I see the sweat coming out. Pushing yourself. Good. Staying low. Squeezing those biceps. I know you guys have been missing this good strength workouts. There we go, right there, right there. Nice squeeze at the top all the way. Finish, finish, finish. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Nice job, drop those weights. We got one more set here before moving on to that next exercise. All right, guys, getting ready for that third and final set here. Finish strong. Let's get it. Good. Knees out. Remember, keep those knees in line with those toes. Think about spreading the ground with your feet. Good. Squeeze those biceps up to the top. Lower back down. Resist gravity on the way down. Good. 15 seconds left here. Let's go. Stay with me. Stay strong. Stay focused. Let's go. Keep that positive mindset flowing. Good, guys. Let's go. Let's go. Five seconds all the way through. Don't stop early. Three, two, one, and rest. Great work right there, guys. Way to stay low. Way to finish all the way through. We're going right into that bridge press here. So we're going to be in that static bridge position, holding those hips up as we press our dumbbells, our object, our book bag, whatever we got going. We're pressing it up. So hips are up, elbows are tight. Good. Remember, we're keeping each set, we're keeping those hips elevated and engaged that whole 35 seconds, guys. Let's go. Good. Coach Ashley is showing a bit of a wow, a bit of a progression here with the sandbag on the hips as she goes into that press. That's gonna keep those glutes locked in. Nice job with that set, guys. Woo! Those glutes on fire yet? Those hamstrings on fire? Yes, that's what we want. A little bit of strength in on this Thursday. Set number two coming up, let's get it. Good. So we want full range of motion. Elbows come all the way to the ground before pressing back up. Really explode all the way to the top of that locked out portion of the movement. We got Elizabeth here with her pup, getting a good workout in. She's got her water bottles. She's got that good hip bridge going. Two, one, and rest. Nice job, guys. Two sets down. We got that third and final set coming up. Give me the green light. 
So we're gonna give those hamstrings a little bit of a break coming up after this set. All right, third and final time here. Let's get it. Okay, guys, if you're using a weight that feels a little bit light, you can give me a little bit of a pulse at the bottom of that movement. It's gonna give, add a little bit of extra tension to those muscles, give you a little bit more of a challenge if you uh, don't have access to a weight that's quite heavy enough for you here. Okay, keep it going, keep working. We have 10 seconds left here, 10 seconds left. Push it out to make these last few reps count. Let's go all the way through for three, two, one, and rest. Great job on that exercise, guys. We have seven stations down. We have seven stations to go. Moving on, we're going into that plank diagonal reach. So we're going to be on those forearms, reaching out diagonally with both our arm and our leg. Opposite arm, opposite leg here. All right, let's get down into that low plank position. Good. So we don't want those hips to rise or fall too much here. All right. We want to keep those hips in line with our shoulders, in line with our torso. If you're starting to really feel the burn too much, you can just give me that static plank. All right. Holding it right there on the forearms. Okay, you guys got about 10 seconds here. Good. Right there. Right there. We're, it's just a tap, so we're not actually really raising the leg or the arm too much. We're just tapping it out diagonally, all right, really forcing those obliques to engage. All right, all those stabilizer muscles of the core are really locked in here. Set number two coming up. Let's go. There we go, guys. Good, small controlled movements here. You want to really force that core to stabilize. All right. Nice work right there, Dez. Hips staying square to the ground. I see you, brother. Nice work, nice work. 10 seconds. Good, guys. I don't see many people in their cameras, which is a good thing. That means we're all in that good, strong plank position for two, for one, and rest. Great job, guys. Third and final set coming up here. We're going to be back on our backs after this with those feet elevated hip thrusts. All right, so finish off these plank reaches strong. Third set, let's go. There we go. Those Germans doing a great job of keeping those hips down, keeping the shoulders square to the ground. Everything stays nice and tight and compact. Slow and steady with those movements. Nice work, guys. Focus on your breathing in and out of the nose. Control it. All right, less than 10 seconds here. We're working for five. Good, guys. Stay up, stay up, stay up. Two. One and rest. Great job. Way to work through that one. That's a tough movement for three sets in a row. All right. We're going into those feet elevated hip thrusts. So put your feet in a chair, put your feet on the couch, put your feet on the steps. Anything you got to do to get those feet up in the air. All right. We're driving and squeezing those glutes at the top, guys. Shoulders and back of our head are going to be relaxed on the ground. You can even add, as Coach Michelle is showing right here, you can add a dumbbell onto your hips, add a little extra resistance, a little extra challenge here. All right, and the closer your glutes are to your heels, the more challenging this is going to be as well. Good, guys. So drive those knees out, squeeze at the top, then lower back down nice and slow. Two, one, and rest. Nice work, guys. Working on our summer booties a little bit right here. Grab some water, reset, and get ready for that second set coming up in two, one. Let's go. So I want you guys to really feel like you're driving from your heels. All right, so toes can slightly come off. All right, but we're really going to squeeze and engage those glutes at the top. Good, 
Okay, guys, come up one one thousand at the top, lower back down. As soon as that butt caps the ground, we're back up into the next rep. We got five seconds here. Push it out for three, two, one, and rest. Great job. Two sets down here. Those bums should be burning a little bit here. Third and final set. All right, we're going into a lateral raise. We're going into some shoulder work here next. So burn those booties out. All right, let's get it. 35 seconds. So keep, if you're using weight, keep that weight right over your hips. All right, squeeze to the top. Yeah, make sure you're keeping those knees out. That's going to keep more engagement in the glutes, which is what we're looking for with this exercise. All right, guys, last 10 seconds. Push through the burn. The burn means it's working. I know it's burning. Push it through. That's going to make those gains happen. Let's go three seconds for two, one, and rest. Great job. All right, guys, grab some light weights. All right, we're going into that thumb up, thumb uh, pinky up. So all train between raising at that 45 degree angle. One time with the thumb up, one time with the pinky up. The thumb up is gonna hit the front part of our shoulder more and the pinky up is gonna hit the back part of our shoulder a little bit more. So we're working that entire deltoid right here. All right, remember, we don't wanna swing those weights up. We wanna make sure that we're using our shoulders to raise those weights and not swinging with the hips. Good. So I want a slight pause if you can at the top. All right, we wanna really feel that muscle engagement at the most most difficult portion of this movement, which is the top part. Three, two, one, and rest. Nice job right there, guys. Good, so I want you guys to think about having very good core engagement here. All right, keeping really good st stability throughout the spine. All right, keep those shoulders down and away from your ears here. You gotta really use those deltoid muscles, really squeeze at the top, all right, resist gravity on the way down. So we have Melissa here showing it with a band, keeping that those arms pulled apart using the tension from that band. That's a great option actually right here. All right, it's gonna keep the engagement in those delts by squeezing that band and up, uh, apart from each other. Nice job, shoulders are probably burning a little bit here, but that's good. We got that third and final set coming up. Working on those sexy shoulders for summer. All right, guys, 35 seconds left here. Let's go ahead and finish strong. Okay, guys, really control this movement. Don't let momentum take those weights up. We want those muscles to take the weights up. Uh, get those shoulders working. 15 seconds here. All right, guys, finish off for two, for one. And go ahead and rest. Nice job, guys. We're moving on to book bag swings next. Book bag, weighted swings. Whatever type of resistance you have, we're going swings here. So as you lower down, those hips will press back. You're going to feel a stretch through your hamstrings. Then you're going to drive those hips forward, squeeze at the top. Good. I want to swing those weights up right to about chest height. Nice job right there on those swings, Maureen. Good. Feeling the stretch to the hamstrings and then squeeze that booty forward as you come up with that swing. Good. Nice job right there, Andy Galley. Getting right up to that chest height. Five seconds here. Finish strong all the way through. Four, two, one. And rest it. Nice job right there, guys. So remember, we're going to maintain that nice flat back as we swing 
that weight forward and back. Remember, this is a hinging movement and not a squat. So you've got a little bit of bend in those knees. This movement is being driven from the hips. Good right there, guys. That weight will swing between the legs, and then as you come out of it, squeeze those hips forward. Nice job right there, Alicia, using the dumbbell. Great job grabbing the top part of that and letting the hips drive forward and squeeze that weight up to the top. Nice job. Kim's going with the single arm progression right here. Great option if you're using a lighter weight as well. For three, two, one, and rest. Nice job, guys. We got that third and final set here. We got 10 sets left to go today, guys. All right, so those glutes are probably on fire those hamstrings are burning all right but we are getting close to our goal close to finishing this workout up last third and final set here let's go ahead and finish strong with the swings nice job lauren packer doing a great job maintaining that nice flat back shoulders are back really driving those hips forward that's a great job on those swings Elena looking great with that dumbbell, getting it all the way up to eye height, right out in front. Great job on those swings, guys. Five seconds here, finish strong, all the way, all the way, all the way, two, one, and rest. Great job. We got three exercises left today, guys. So next we're going into those leg raises. So we're gonna lay on our back, working that core some more here, all right? So keep those legs straight. As you lift all the way up, you can give me a little pulse at the top if you need an extra challenge here as well. Good, so legs come perpendicular to the ground. And then at the top, raise those feet up. And we're trying to kick the ceiling in. Good, guys. Really use your core to raise your legs and not momentum from swinging the legs up. Nice work right there. Oh, Steve Holtz in the house. Looking swole. Two, one, and rest. Nice job right there. Miss Sandy in the studio, Steve. Looking good though, brother. All right, guys. Five seconds to that second set. Coach Michelle is showing another option here. You can grab those dumbbells for a little bit of shoulder stability work here. So it's gonna give you a little bit of a counterbalance uh, and also work those shoulder stabilizers. Yeah, remember, you can take that pulse out if you want to. All right, for less, just raise those legs up and down. All right, on the way down, I want you guys to see how slow can you go. How how much can you resist gravity? Gravity wants to push your legs down. The more you resist it, the more those core muscles are getting fired up. Five seconds here. Finish strong, finish strong for three, two, one, and rest. Great job, two sets down. All right, we got that third and final set coming up. Take this time right here, stretch your abs out, stretch your core out, and breathe. Before we start that third and final set, I got your on two one last set of leg raises here let's go ahead and finish it off all right like donna brown and friends doing a great job keeping those legs straight using that core to lift those legs up that's a great job right there we got Jenny Chapman using the Michelle German progression here, using those weights to stabilize the shoulders. Great job right there. Finish strong, guys. We got three, two, one, and rest. Great job. Two more exercises to go. Six more working sets going into those curtsy lunges. So remember, we're taking a big step back and behind, diagonally at an angle, all right? so. Our outside foot is going to step to the outside of our inside foot back and at an angle. Keep that chest up nice and tall. All right, you're going to feel that work through the side part of your booty of the leg that is not stepping. Feel that stretch. 
Good, nice big step out at that diagonal angle. Keep that chest up tall, shoulders are back. Good, 10 seconds here. Got a lot of legs today. Giving those legs some love. Five seconds here. Two, one, and rest. Great job. So the outside of that booty and those quads is what we're targeting here with that exercise. All right, back off for that second set. 35 seconds here, let's get it. Nice job by Coach Rob. This is gonna challenge your balance here. It's an awkward angle with that step. Coach Roth is doing a great job. She's showing a progression using a band. That's gonna keep that booty involvement even more. Good, guys. Five seconds here. Finish strong. Two, one, rest. Great job, guys. We have one more set before we're moving on to that last exercise of the day. All right. Keep that energy flowing. All right. We're going to finish strong. We got four sets to go. Keep your mind right. This is the time where we're going to start digging a little deeper. All right. Let's get it going. Here, guys. Big step out. Really feel that muscle engagement. All right, I got. I want you guys to really control these movements. Nice work right there, guys. Good, we're halfway through. Nice job by Kim right here. She's got a nice device she's holding out in front of her. Good, nice stability. Back knee comes all the way down. Good, guys, finish strong for three, two, one and rest nice work we're moving on to that last exercise of the day which is that spider and push-up so as you lower down that same knee comes up to that same elbow and you're going to drive out of that by driving that leg back to that high plank position all right guys three sets left let's get it Hey guys, remember there is an option here to separate the two movements. So you can give me that push up, then drive the knee up to the elbow before returning it back to that starting position. All right, you can separate those two. That's completely fine here. Nice job right there, guys. Keep working. There's Ashley right here showing us the progression of dropping it down as that knee comes up, all the way back for two, one and rest great work right there guys this is the time where we have to dig a little bit deeper i know we're tired i know we're fatigued we have two sets of work left let's go create that mindset that you're gonna finish strong that you're gonna work all the way through these last two sets let's get it guys so this is about quality reps i don't care how many you get i just want every single one of them to be as quality as you can get all right get that knee all the way up to that elbow lower that chest all the way to the ground full range of motion through those push-ups 10 seconds here coach michelle is showing drop it down to the knees for that push-up if you need to that's completely fine three two one and rest nice work guys coming up is your last set of the day we got 35 seconds of work left 35 seconds 35 chances left to make these gains happen all right guys getting that thursday started off on the right note we're on in two we're on in one let's go 35 seconds everything you've got left in the tank no need to hold anything back at this point all right, we got 30 seconds of work left. Let's go ahead and finish this thing off strong. Lindsay Swati, show me how it's done. We got that knee to elbow, knee to elbow, drop it down. Good, guys, all right. Give me, so I can pick that pace up a little bit. We got 15 seconds left. If you got anything left in the tank, it's time to blow it out right here. 10 seconds all the way through. Those Germans get that knee all the way up. Let's go drop it down, press it up. Five seconds, let's go all the way through. For three, for two, for one and rest great job guys way to come in here work hard sweat it out burn those bombs 
All right, great full body strength workout today, guys. Thanks for joining. Go ahead and start catching your breath, breathing in through the nose and releasing it out, elongating those exhales, starting to get that heart rate back down so we can start that recovery process. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get started with our post-workout stretch. So come up into a half kneeling stance like Coach German is doing right here. You're gonna, whichever knee is down, you're gonna raise that arm up, reach for the sky, try to grab some ceiling, or it's gonna elongate that uh, hip flexor and get a good stretch right there on whichever knee is down. And you can give me a little bit of a lean side to side. That side hip stretched out. And then go ahead and switch those legs out so that other leg's gonna come forward, that uh, the back knee will come forward and the front knee will come to the ground. And then whichever knee is down now, go ahead and reach that arm up to the sky. Really elongate that side body. And on that stretch with the hip flexion, you can lean a little bit towards either side. Let's get that side hip. From there, we're going to go ahead and lay on our side. All right. And then we're going to grab our top ankle and pull it behind us, stretching out for that quad stretch. You can lay all the way back. You can support the, uh, yourself on the ground with your forearm. All right, but we want to make sure we're pushing our hips forward and really feeling that stretch through the quad. Great job right there, guys. And go ahead and switch it over to that other side. Thank you guys so much for joining. I know we've been doing a lot of body weight, a lot of cardio type movements. So I'm sure a lot of you guys are excited to get some strength in, switch it up from what we've been you know, having to do with the lack of equipment um, with today's strength workout. Good, so go ahead and go into that figure four. So you're gonna lie on your back, cross one ankle over the knee and then pull whichever uh, leg is down, pull that leg up. You're gonna be feeling that stretch through that crossed glute. Guys, don't forget, in 15 minutes, I'm going to be going live with the kiddos for F45 PE. That's at 10 o'clock. So if you got kids at home that need to get a little bit of energy out, have them join me. It's going to be awesome. We're going to get a great workout, and it's going to be about 20 or 30, 25, 30 minutes long. All right, for you guys with kiddos. All right, go ahead and switch those legs out. So opposite ankle over the opposite knee. Tomorrow we got triple double for you guys. Another great cardio workout. That's going to be me coaching that one again. So if you guys want to hang out with me some more, get another great workout in, definitely join us tomorrow for triple double. All right, from there, we're going to lay all the way or stand, sit all the way back up into a seat and just cross that right arm over the chest, stretch out those shoulders. We got that, uh, those shoulder raises in today. So a little bit of work in there Go ahead and stretch it out. Remember, whenever we're stretching our shoulders, we're going to relax our uh, shoulders away from our ears. So let them hang down as you pull across. Good. And then go ahead and switch it out. Left arm across or whichever arm you didn't do first. Nice work right there, guys. And then we're going to go ahead and go into that uh, chest stretch. So interlock your fingers behind your back, squeeze your shoulder blades together. That's going to feel, you're going to feel that, uh, stretch through your chest muscles and kind of push your hips forward and then reverse it opposite. So you're going to interlock your fingers, press them out round your upper back, feeling that stretch through those upper back muscles. <clears throat> Good, and then we're gonna go ahead and stretch out those triceps, all right? So grab that elbow, pull it back behind your body, reach your hand down your spine. Stretch out those triceps, stretch out those lats. Coach Michelle is stretching it out side to side a little bit here. Go ahead and switch those arms out so other arm will come back.
All right, guys, great job with that workout. Thank you so much for joining us. All right, like I said, tomorrow's triple double, so that's gonna be a cardio-based workout.